I just went to Ace Hardware, got this rod. It's gonna make the job real easy to do. Cut it to length of the swing arm, stick it in, hold the jack shaft, and then we don't have to hold it, stick the swing arm back in the bike and put it back together. If you're curious, I'm cutting it at six inches and five eighths. First thing you wanna do, is find the master link and take the chain off. It's way easier to do when the wheel's on than off. Take that off, take the brake, and we'll go from there. We're gonna come and take the belt cover off, off the motor. Just two bolts, one up top, one at the bottom, easy. After we get the belt cover off, I'm gonna go ahead and loosen the motor. My belt's not on because I broke it. We're gonna go ahead and loosen the motor just so we don't have to do it later when we're trying to install the belt. Just four bolts, one right here, one right here, same on the other side. One right here, one right here. Again, it's just loosen them. Don't take them all the way out. That's all you need. Now we're gonna come to the suspension. Just take off this metal bolt right here. And then after that, we'll go for the swing arm bolt. You'll probably notice my swing arm bolt is not OEM. I also got that at Ace Hardware. It makes it super easy to take on and off. I just got a long screwdriver. Stick it right here. Just tap it on through. Now for the phone part, should just pull straight off. I got the swing arm upside down so you can see better, but the rod just goes right through. The main thing is you don't want it sticking out past the swing arm. Perfect. All right, I still got the swing arm upside down. You can just lay your belt in the middle, it don't matter. Stick the jack shaft in, and then stick the rod through. Got the rod in. Make sure you get the belt over the pulley now before you stick it in. Now look, holds it for me. Before you stick it back in, just make sure all your bearings are good. Get your swing arm axle, just get it ready. I like to put a little grease on it, clean everything up. Once you get it started, you can push it in. Kind of wiggle it back and forth. Don't have to beat it. Once you get the hole lined up, you just stick the swing arm bolt back in. There it is. The rod just comes right out the other side, lines it up perfect for you. Now we just need to reverse the procedure. Tighten the swing arm bolt, Get the suspension linkage back connected, put the chain on, put the brake on, and then we'll go ahead and tighten the belt up. All right, got everything back together. We're gonna tighten the belt in just a second. Make sure you get your master link on the correct way. It wants to be on that way. So when it goes forward, it can't knock it off. We're gonna go ahead and tighten the belt up. This is a little trick I do. You gotta be careful though, cause you could break a fin. I do have this peg brace that helps, but you can just get a screwdriver put in the fins and just lift the motor up to slide the belt on. Once that belt's on that front pulley, 
spin the tire and it'll self-align itself. And then we can go and tighten it. We're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna come under the bar this time. Put a little pressure on it, put a little pressure on it, and then we're gonna tighten this Allen head up on the side and be ready to rip. When you're prying it, grab this piece right here, push up on it, and it'll click, and it'll just stay there. Feel the tension of the belt when it feels good, and go ahead and get your Allen wrench, tighten your bolts up. Before you put the belt cover back on, you can turn the key on, hit the throttle a couple of times, let it spin over, check your belt, check your chain. And just like that, we're done. A couple of things I can go over. You may notice I didn't take the wheel off. I don't think it makes it harder or easier. You can do whatever you feel like you want to do. Uh, another thing, there's some spacers, washers that go inside the frame. So when you slide, slide the swing arm in, it could be a little tricky. It's not too bad. Uh, and then just kind of make sure you tighten everything, go over everything over your head. Make sure everything's tight. I don't know the size rod I got for the swing arm, but you could get the... You could take it out, take it up to any hardware store and just kind of match it up, get close. It doesn't have to be exact size. It could be a little smaller. It'll, it'll help out tremendously though. I just put the rod in my next belt. I can carry it with me, put it in the truck. I wish companies would just send it with it. Not too much more expensive, it makes it real easy. I always have it with me.